Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 1 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry. In my previous video, I have explained the distance for Quickly, Let us begin with the video. Example number 1 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry says do the points 3 comma 2 minus 2 comma minus 3 and 2 comma 3 form a triangle. If so, name the type of triangle formed. So here they have given us 3 points with coordinates. So we have to find out whether these three points will form a triangle or not. And if they form a triangle, we have to name which type of triangle it is going to form. So let me draw a figure of a triangle here which has three vertices or three points. So let us name these three points first as A, B, and C. The point A. So let the point A be the first coordinate that is given as 3 comma 2 point P with the second coordinate as minus 2 comma minus 3 and point C with the third coordinate that is 2 comma 3. So here we have to find out by using the distance formula the sides AB, BC and AC. By using the sides we can determine whether a triangle is formed or not. In a triangle if the sum of any of the two sides is greater than the third side then we can say that a triangle is formed. So here the sides AB plus BC can be equal to AC or AC plus BC can be equal to the side AB or the sides AB plus AC can be equal to the side BC. So first we will find out the sides AB, BC and AC. Then we will find out whether these sides will form a triangle or not. So let us first name these points as A, B and C. So write down let the first point be 3 comma 2. Let the second point be minus 2 comma minus 3 and the third point be C with coordinates 2 comma 3. Okay, so by distance formula, we will find out the side first AB, then BC, and then we will find out the side AC. So, what is the distance formula is given by? Is given by square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. First, let us calculate the side AB. Calculating AB. So, here let point A be x1, y1 and point B, B, X2, Y2. So here any of the points can be either X1, Y1 or X2, Y2. That will not affect result when you apply the values in the formula. So calculating AB will be equal to square root of what is X2. X2 is minus 2. Minus 2 minus of X1 is 3. The whole square plus Y2 is minus 3 minus y1 value is 2 the whole square. Here minus 2 and minus 3 will add up to become minus 5 the whole square plus again we have minus 3 minus 2. So again it will be minus 5 the whole square. Here squaring minus 5 you get minus into minus will become plus and 5 into 5 will become 25. So this will be 25 plus again minus into minus will become plus and 5 square is 20. Five. Here, one of the easiest method is just take common 25 outside. So what will be left? 1 plus 1 will be left behind. Here 25 can be written as 5 into 5 into 1 plus 1 is 2. Here the pairing of number 5 is done. Number 5 will come outside the square root. So AB value will be 5 root 2. Here we already know the root 2 value which is equal to 1.5. Okay, so let us multiply 5 into 1.414 that will be equal to approximately 7.07. Since we have to know actual value of the side AB, so it's better to remove the root terms and find out their values. And also please remember the root values from 1 to 15 as it will be easier for you to solve in this kinds of problems. Okay, so AB value we have found out that is 7.07. .07. Now similarly, let us calculate BC value. Calculating BC. So BC is equal to 
again here we will consider the c term as x1 y1 and let b be x2 y2 coordinates okay so bc will be again square root of applying the distance formula x2 minus x1 here x2 is again minus 2 minus of x1 is 2 the whole square plus what is y2 value it is minus 3 minus of y1 value is 3 the whole square here since we have minus 2 and minus 2 we have to add with the minus sign 2 plus 2 is 4 so this will become minus 4 the whole square plus minus 3 and minus 3 again we have to add with the minus sign so 3 plus 3 it is 6 so it is minus 6 the whole square what is minus 4 the whole square minus and 2 minus will become plus and 4 fours are it is 16 plus again minus 2 minus will become plus and 6 square is 36 so here we get bc value is equal to square root of 16 plus 36 is how much 52 or if you factorize 52 2 twos are 4 carry 1 2 6 are 12 again 2 ones are 2 threes are since 13 is a prime number so we take 13 one times so the factors of 52 we got as 2 into 2 into 13 so since pairing of number 2 is done so this comes out of the square root so we get 2 root 13 so what is the value of root 13 this also you have to remember so root 13 is equal to 3.605 okay so substituting we get 2 into 3.605 is approximately equal to 7.210 okay so we got the side bc value also now let us find out the side ac so here let the point a be x1 y1 and point c be x2 y2 calculating the side ac so ac is equal to applying the distance formula square root of x2 minus x1 here x2 value is 2 and x1 value is 3 so 2 minus 3 the whole square plus again y2 minus y1 the whole square y2 is 3 and y1 is 2 so again it is 3 minus 2 the whole square so this will be equal to square root of what is 2 minus 1 it is minus 1 the whole square plus 3 minus 2 is 1 square so minus into minus will become plus and 1 square is 1 again here so this will be 1 plus again 1 square is 1 so this will be root 2 so what is the value of root 2 it is 1.414 right so ac value we got here as 1.414 so we got ac value bc and ab value so we have to add any of the two sides such that it is greater than the third side so here if you take side ab it is 7.07 .07 and side bc 7.210 if you add them you get around something 14 point something so this will be greater than the third side ac that is 1.414 similarly if you add Add the side BC and AC so this will become 7 plus 1 it will become 8 point something which will be greater than the third side 7.07 .07. similarly if you take the side AB and plus AC so 7.07 .07 plus 1.414 will become 8 point something which is again greater than the third side 7.210 okay so if you add any of the two sides the sum is greater than the third side so therefore we can say that the points ABC forms a triangle so write down since sum of any two sides is greater than the third side so therefore we can say that points ABC form a triangle okay now they have also asked us if they form a triangle we have to name which type of triangle is formed in an equilateral triangle if you consider in an equilateral triangle all the three sides must be equal but here we didn't get all the three sides as equal so it cannot be an equilateral triangle for an isosceles triangle any two of the sides must be equal but here again we don't have any two sides to be equal right so it cannot be again an isosceles triangle so let us try for an right angle 
triangle in a right angle triangle we have a base perpendicular and a hypotenuse where hypotenuse is always the larger side so here we can consider the hypotenuse to be bc right so if the hypotenuse is bc hypotenuse square is equal to the base square plus the perpendicular square so bc square is equal to some of the other two sides that is ab square plus ac square so let us substitute the values of bc ab and ac and find out whether this condition is satisfied or not so here let us take this root values of ab bc and ac here we had under the root 25 plus 25 as 50 right so let us take so ab value will be root 50 bc value will be root 52 and ac value will be root 2 so bc value is how much root 52 the whole square is equal to ab is root 50 the whole square plus ac is root 2 the whole square so the square and the root terms will get cancelled right so we will be left with 52 is equal to again here root and square terms will get cancelled so 52 will be equal to 50 plus 2 so therefore we got 52 as equal to 52 so we can see here that the condition is satisfied therefore we can say that the triangle formed is a right angle triangle so therefore you can write down triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So this is how we solve this example one. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving example two from chapter seven coordinate geometry. So till then do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter seven coordinate geometry shown on the screen. Thank you.